Hey guys, and today we're going to be showing the Horizon Wilds Takeover Winter Season. So, first up, we got the Season Rewards. We got the Polaris Razor Pro for 20 points and the number 42 Extreme E for 40 points. So then next up, we got the Series Awards. We got the Subaru Brat for 80 points and the Sierra 700R for 160 points. Just because I kind of want to. How much... I, I just kind of want to see how much is the uh, the Subaru Brat selling for in the auction house. That's probably a lot, but let's just see. There's no auctions. Okay. I was thinking about maybe buying myself one if I could find one, but I don't know. There's going to be a bunch up for sale in the next few weeks. So I could buy myself one of those if I wanted to. But yeah, so next up we got the Fortathon event. So we got the uh, the Fortathon weekly challenge. So we got Jim Kana ten. Smash a donkey pinata in Guanajuato while driving the 2016 Hoonigan Jim Kana ten. Word Focus RX to so yeah. So, so smash a donkey pinata in Guanajuato while driving the 2016 Hoonigan Jim Kana ten. Word Focus RX. Oh wait, no, that's okay. Own and drive the 2016 Hoonigan Jim Kana ten. Word Focus RX. Um, run. Oh, win the win the Guanajuato Tunnel Run Street Race in the four in the twenty sixteen Ford in the tw in the Ford Focus RX RS RX. So um, let's see if I can find that that street race. Oh, it's gonna be up in Guanajuato. Guanajuato Tunnel Run. So. Y'all, I might actually have to give this race a try. That actually looks fun. Next up, we got Smash a Donkey Pinata in Guanajuato. That's the one we started with, but it happens to be the third one. So make sure don't you do, make sure you don't do this one first. But yeah, so next we got earn an ultimate drift or ear of skill in Guanajuato. Yeah. So next up, we got um, the daily challenges. So it'll buff out. Take a photo of your car in the stadium stunt park. For anyone wondering, that's gonna be right here. Right here, it's gonna be right up here. There's a stunt park in here. I think there's a stunt park. Actually, that's I'm a fast travel there. Just make sure real quick. Yeah, there's a stunt park here. So yeah, this is what the stunt park looks like. Uh, good view from up above. And there's an invisible wall that, that I hit. That would have been clean if I didn't. We're gonna get that one more try. Okay. Alright, but next up is earn a clean start in any pickup in 4x4. So I'm not sure exactly what that means. Let me know if you guys know. But next up, we got complete any Horizon Arcade in any modern rally car. Jump over 330 feet or 100 meters in any pickup in 4x4. Smash a picnic table. Earn 5 speed skills and play Azul. And bank 100,000 skill score at the stunt park. Next up, we got the Fortathon Shops. We got the the uh, the Napier Railton 1933 for 600 points, and the Navy Plaid hoodie for 75 points. And we got the Duck Quack Car Horn. I already own that. I'm gonna buy myself this right here. So then next up, we got the G63 AMG 6x6 from Mercedes. Uh, for 300 points, and then um, mobile spin for 60, then super wheel spin for 150. Then next we got the season events. So we got the trial trail mix. So you can use so you get the Audi Quattro. Uh, let's see if we can find what you have to use. Nope. Uh, what did I just do? There we go here. So you can use any Alpine A A110. 1973 for that C class. Then you get the Audi Quattro. Then next up we got. Next up we got 
You have this event lab right here. This is the little rally cross event. You get the ninth, then you get the gym kind of ten focus, which you can use for this. And there's this one right here. You get a super wheel spin. It's a four lap multi route and multi terrain race set in the valley featuring Hot Wheels tracks. Next, we got this seasonal championship on my first whistle, or this seasonal playground games on my first whistle. So for this one, you can so you can use. Let's see. This one, you can use any A-class all-wheel drive car. You get the Jeep Gladiator. So you, um... But, um... Next up, we got... Okay, so one thing about this one, you do not have to... Um... You do not have to... Um... You do not have to win the event. You just have to complete it. So just be, just make sure you know that before you spend multiple hours trying to complete it, just like I have before. Next we have this danger sign right here, stadium jump. You can use any S2 car. You gotta get 1,300 feet on it, and you get a super wheel spin. Next we got this speed zone right here. You can use any S2 car. You gotta get 85 miles an hour. Seems easy, but when you realize how many corners there are, and it's on a dirt road, so this is gonna be actually pretty hard. Next we got this trailblazer right here. Um, you can use any S2 car, you gotta make it from start to finish. Um, everyone knows what a trailblazer is. It was 33 seconds left on the timer. And next we got the seasonal championship right here. You can use any B-class modern rally car. You get the Opel Manta 400. So this is a three-part race. You have to win all three of them or win two. Two and then get first on the last one. I mean, get second on the last one. Then, um... You, then or anything worse than that you will not get the opel Mount M manta 400 same with this one right here it's a sprint finish road race you can use any b class homologation heroes what does that mean oh let's find out yeah these are the three locations right there so yeah just like any one of these Not exactly sure what it means, but yeah. But yeah, so next up we got challenges. So we got the treasure hunt, pouncing Puma. So you're going to want to get into a Ford Racing Puma. And you have to get 100 meters or 330 feet on any danger sign, I believe. So let's see, where is the Ford Racing Puma? So... If you're wondering if you can or cannot use the Ford Racing Puma, the 4th edition, I mean, I honestly have no idea. So just to make sure, I'm going to be using this one right here. The, the original 1999 Ford Racing Puma that everybody has access to. That everyone can obtain by playing the game. But yeah, so the danger sign that we're going to be doing. So I don't know if you guys saw, but in the thing it says jumping over a river dam. This right here is a river dam. So because of that, I'm going to be jumping... I'm going to be doing this danger sign right here, jumping over river dam, just to make sure I am doing the right one. I would highly recommend you do the same too. Not only is this probably the correct danger sign to do, this is also the easiest danger sign to do, since you have a very long runway, and you are almost guaranteed to get 330 feet no matter what, or 100 meters. Yeah, this car really is not the fastest. It's on about 114 right now, 115, 116. So then, there we go. Yeah, you guys will see, we went far over 300, 310 feet. There we go. So next up is... So then we got the, um, the treasure chest. We're just going to be right up here, up in this, like, cornfield right here. So we're going to fast travel there. Then we're going to drive over to there real quick. So it's right up here to the left. Okay, you can see this guy's going for it, too. Uh, where is it?
Um. Y'all, there is no chest here. Alright, that's a little weird. Next up is Horizon Pulsar. I got the 1990 Horizon Nissan Pulsar at the Ferid Ruda Lion Mural, Mural and Play Azul. So we're going to get into the Nissan Pulsar. Nissan. I think it's this one. I'm not 100% sure. I think mine's just painted black for some reason. I'm pretty sure I've used this thing on a couple different races. Four. But yeah, so next we got to find the Ferid Ruda Lion Mural and Playa Azul. Alright guys, so it should be like right around here. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. Um, let me uh, pull out the drone and see if I can find it. Sure. Alright guys, so I was pretty close. It is right back here. But um There we go. So next stop is Next up is Horizon Open Custom Made, so there's a completed Dirt Racing Horizon Open Custom Event. So next we got the monthly events, we got the last cell, the Scramble, so you're just going to want to take a hot lap in the Gym Counter 9 Ford Focus RS RX around the last cell, the Scramble. So it's just, you have to get a clean lap, so that means no crashing, no reversing, no rewinding, and no stopping. Same with this one right here, but in the Sierra 700R around the River Scramble, but yeah. So next up we got the Drift Zone Ice Cauldron, so we're going to go to the Hot Wheels Park, let me show that. I'll see you guys. So I'll see you guys once we get there. Goodbye. All right, guys. So we're now here at the Hot Wheels Park. So this is the drift zone right here. You can use the S2 car. You got to get 175,000 points, and you get a super wheel spin. And then this seasonal championship right here. So you have to use any A class SUV, and you get the Ultima 1020, same as the other one. You have to win all three races, or win or get second place on the last one, or win two races and get second place on the last one, or else you will not get this car. But yes, anyway, we're now going to go back to Mexico. And we're going to be showing the Super 7. So I'll see you guys once we get there. Goodbye. Alright guys, so now we are back here in Mexico. So the Super 7 is right here. So for this week, if I complete the Super 7, you get a Super Wheel Spin. So it's not really worth completing it this week. Since, I mean, all you get is Super Wheel Spin. You can buy one of those for like a couple hundred forces, like a hundred forces on points. But yeah, so anyway... Next up, if next next so the last last thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going to the soup. We're going to be going to um my gifts right here. I get two super wheel spins, so we're gonna be spinning those right here. We do this at the end of each video, but yeah. 
So 5,000, 20,000 out of BMW M5. So I'm gonna sell that for 15,000. Then 90,000, 10,000, and 1,000. There we go. So next up we got. Oh yeah. So anyway, that will be the end of this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.